Monday, September 13th. I got my bad luck 13th crap out of the way. I broke the ground off the sending unit for the gas tank because it was too short to hook up to where it goes and thought it was snagged, but no, I broke it. So the gas tank's gonna have to come back out. And the wire is run to the wrong side of the tank for the sending unit anyway. So one way or another, the tank comes out. But, um, that's the stainless tank. I uh, clipped out the old harness I had hooked up for towing a trailer and I've got the original harness here. I decided to get a new one for the rear of the car. No sense in having 53 year old wiring on anything for that matter. Next I installed the Max Air flap for the air conditioning getting all the firewall things built out before the fenders get put on so it's easier to do. I mounted up the windshield washer and uh, wiper motor and I ran the brand new hoses through their original proper positions. I don't think it came with these clips originally but it came with the kit and I like the way it cleans it up and hides it and tucks it away so I put them on. This is the hose that goes to the bottle, which I can't put in without fender wells. The master cylinder and booster is installed with the booster hose. I still have to put a clamp on that, but it's in. I had a little bit of a difficulty because it's counterintuitive that these lines cross. I was trying to hook this, the distribution block to here and there to there, and it didn't work. And then I realized I had them on backwards. Got it fit, looks good. Now that it's all mounted up, the lines don't interfere with the headers, although they're tight. I attached the parking brake cable to the parking brake mechanism. I just cut the old one off, it was broken anyway. It was easier to remove. Easy to install, it just pushes right in and clips, but taking it out you got to squeeze the tabs and it was broken anyway so I used the cutting wheel and cut them off I think my next step is going to be installing the air conditioning stuff under the dash and on the firewall anyway, here's a big walk around I don't like those wheels on this car. I think they look good with the blue too. The uh, quarter panel extensions are somewhat prepped. I had a broken stud and I tapped it and put a bolt in it with a regular threaded nut instead of the uh, I don't know what they call them, but the nuts, self-threading nuts. Uh, this has an actual threaded nut for one corner. It'll hide okay. It's better than buying a new unit, a new housing. So we just that one flaw. Anyway, there she is. Once we drop the fuel tank and get that sending unit wire and ground strap worked out I'll uh, fuel it up and we'll be able to run it it's still have to run the jumpers on the on the fuse box plug but it's functional like it was on the driveway <laughs> 